Hey there, and welcome back to FNAF in real time by Real Time Studio over on Game Joel. We're here visiting the Night 1 demo this time rather than a teaser mode. And of course, there is a six hour mode, which I'm not going to do that because that'd be crazy. I don't got that kind of time for a bloody fan game or for any game. Uh, you know, six hours in a row is kind of, you know, that's excessive, especially if you're doing the same thing over and over again. Point is, we're hopping right in because we have quite a bit to talk about. Now, this game in general has gotten an insane amount of attention, even, you know, back when the teaser demo was first out. And I'm not sure if we get a phone call, I don't want to talk over it. Obviously, we've seen the game before, it looks really good, obviously, in terms of like, you know, making everything in real time, you know, making everything move as if everything is actually going on, rather than just seeing, you know, straight pictures. Like, for example, Freddy, we can literally see Freddy walking off stage. Now, I have my own criticisms about FNAF in real time because I'm not I'm not quite so sure why it's getting this. Well, actually, no, I do know why it's getting a lot of attention, right? Anything with regards to the original FNAF, right, tends to get a huge amount of attention, especially when it comes to recreations or remakes. And in this case, it's pretty much taking FNAF and making it looks visually you know having giving life to these animatronics in a way that the original game doesn't because obviously in the original game you see them just you know teleport between cameras but in this game you know you actually get to see them move like as you know they're actually alive among the cameras and that aesthetic on its own is pretty cool now oh hold on freddy's about to start moving now there's been a lot of discussion uh regarding this game recently and a lot of really just nasty things that have been said uh to the developers a lot of harassment that's just overall really not good especially because we're talking about a bloody game here right it's not that serious right oh brother wait hold on already they're visiting my bloody doorway also oh, that's something i'm gonna keep my door closed and oh Oh, there goes Foxy. More so, I want to get into my own thoughts on the game. Oh, okay, that's actually kind of nice. You can see both Freddy and Bonnie there. Now, can I actually move? I can't, I can't, okay, here we go. That's actually cool. Um, you get to see Bonnie showing up on the right side, which makes me think that Chica can now go on the left side, right? I will say, they are nailing some of the ambience uh, really nicely in ways that the original game didn't have. We can actually see them walking away, that's cool. Now, right, I want to talk about my own thoughts about the game. Because, obviously, a lot of people are probably asking, you know, what's so interesting about this, you know, project. Because, in general, it's been getting a crazy amount of attention, as I've said. On Game Jewel itself, there's 20,000 followers for the game, which is a lot. And, you know, for me, I'm more on the skeptical side of, you know, the criticism. I'm trying to still see, like, what can this game do that's going to make this experience a lot more than just FNAF, but with, like, you know, all the animatronics move on camera, right? And so far, right, there isn't much that I've seen personally to really get me that excited for what's going to be new in this project, right? Because for the most part, what I do know is that from a story standpoint, they're involving their own original character named The Brother. I'll literally show what it looks like in the loading screen. I'm going to probably die because my power management is absolutely atrocious. So aside from The Brother, right, this O... I'll sit here. Close this. We'll just sit here. This is perfect because it actually gives me some time to talk. So yes, aside from this new character that they're involving into the game, right? There isn't much else that I've seen personally to show like, oh, this is going to be doing something really different. Now, obviously, they may not be showing a lot yet, which is completely understandable. It's just that that's why I'm keeping my excitement for this game limited for now good don't get me wrong the game looks good like having everything actually move and flow like it looks really good it's done in unity which is how this is even done in the first place it's not in click team 
but for the amount of attention that it's getting that's kind of like the worry that i have that it's getting so much attention and as a result it's building up a lot of expectations that might just be a bit overblown and you know for all intents and purposes i hope that this game you know gets highly praised once it finally releases and all that depending on what's happening because a lot's going on with the game as i said Regardless, I'm still excited to see what this game does because it seems like they do want to do something different with the story, at least, you know, since they have their own character in the works here. I'm just curious to see how much further they're going to push it in this game, I guess is like a better way of saying it. I hope I communicated that properly, right? I'm, you know, interested in the game, but I'm not super duper excited for it because so far what we've seen is very similar in terms of gameplay, right, to the original FNAF because for me when it comes to like because I've played quite a few FNAF remakes at this point right some of which being one of the more popular ones actually the most popular at this point being FNAF uh, rewritten by Dottie right and in that case right a lot of it sticks to the original gameplay but adds like new story elements and does add some gameplay elements as well but i think for me what i'm trying to get at is when it comes to like fnaf remakes the thing that i look forward to the most is how the gameplay gets changed up and i think a good example of this is finite and anime reborn right which you know is based on finance and anime which is pretty much the same as fnaf but like with the Friday, you know, the characters portrayed in anime format. But Finance in Anime changes up the gameplay quite a bit, right? With the addition of a sanity mechanic, the puppet behind you, you know, and I guess that's what I'm, you know, it does things to help it stand out in its own way. And I'm waiting to see what this game can do, especially because it's getting so much attention. I'm in general curious what can this game do to help stand out on its own like that and not just be considered like, Oh, just a regular FNAF remake. This part is cool also. Seeing all of them actually sing an actual song instead of just hearing Toreador. Even Foxy decided to join. But a sad note to end it on. So who's gonna get me? Is it just gonna be- Oh! There's brother. I'm assuming that's a failure on my part, right? Yeah, that is failure on my part. Game over. Oh, and yet you get to see me twitching in the bloody suit. Ugh. But, so, I guess that's where my main skepticism is with regards to this game. Just because I'm waiting to see more, you know, before I really get super into it, right? That's kind of like what I'm waiting on. Right now, we're only seeing, we, you know, we know what everyone does. Everyone plays the same, they just move differently, right? Which has its own element to it, right? Because obviously, in terms of gameplay, the major difference right now is that because they don't move instantly between cameras, to some degree, you can kind of prepare for their movement. You can see like, oh, Freddy's moving. If he was moving to this camera, I could close this, you know, in advance. You know, so there are some slight changes in gameplay that I can't see when you have the characters moving in real time, right? In cameras, right? Like, I can see Chica walking in and I'm like, oh, let me close the door in advance. It's not like I have to catch them instantly on camera. And, Cause sometimes what if you go to check the camera and they just happen to move, but you missed it, right? In this case, you're less likely to see that. But yeah, I hope that makes sense. I'm mainly interested in looking at how does the game differentiate itself from a gameplay aspect that's what i and you know obviously from a story aspect as well those are two main important things for me because they have their own original character in the game it seems like they're going to try and you know spice things up a bit in terms of the story and i hope in gameplay as well i guess that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about because as i said again this game has been getting a lot of attention and you know, rightly so, again, props to the developers because the game looks great, right? And people love seeing FNAF remakes and reimaginings, reinterpretations, all that jazz. You know, it's one of the most popular type of fan game in general, right? Seeing the original games made in, you know, someone else's style, someone else's vision. I guess, you know, I just wanted to provide a bit of a skeptical view on the game and just talk about that, talk about, you know, 
what is it that I do like about the game, and what is it that I'm still waiting on. You know, I don't do that very often, but I wanted to do that at least once. At least for this game, because this is a game that's gotten so much attention. Wait, Foxy ran down the right hallway? Huh. Okay. See, like, those slight gameplay differences actually are important, because obviously with Foxy, you think, oh, I just have to keep the left door closed, and I'm automatically safe. Not really the case in this one, because Foxy obviously can go either way. Same as uh, Bonnie, and I assume Chica, and maybe even Freddy will start, like, going down this other hallway as well. I think that's something that helps spice up the gameplay a little bit instead of just expecting the same characters going at the same routes every time. So, you know, already that's a good sign. I'm curious where's Freddy though. If I can see, look, Freddy's on the left side. So that obviously, you know, changes the gameplay loop a bit, especially if you were considering like a max difficulty mode. With max difficulty in the original FNAF, you had one door always closed because that's the side that Freddy is always on. But you can't really do that in this game because Freddy can be on either side. Same with Foxy. So, you know, these small gameplay changes obviously I think are good, right? It helps spice up the gameplay, makes it feel different than, you know, a little bit different from original FNAF. I'm just waiting to see what else do they do. I'm gonna find a way to edit this so that what I'm saying makes sense to some degree. <laughs> I didn't, okay. I, I didn't know where Freddy was. <laughs> okay. Well, good to know that their dumpsters can still get me. So in general, I wanted to cover this game mainly, you know, while talking about my thoughts, because again, from a gameplay standpoint, there isn't a huge amount of changes. So I wanted to take this opportunity to try and talk about my main, you know, not gripes, my main concerns about the game you know, what I'm excited for, what I'm looking, what I'm waiting to see more of, right? I wanted to take this chance to do that since it's a game that I'm very familiar with at this point, at least from the original gameplay aspect, but I think you get what I mean. I want to talk more about it, because, especially because it's been talked about a lot in the FNAF community recently, uh, especially, especially recently. I want to give my thoughts on it. But yeah, uh, this six hour mode is insane. I don't know how anyone is supposed to handle six hours of this. I think, I don't, I don't know if someone did do this. I think someone did, I'm not sure. I'm just saying, I don't think I could. I did 30 minutes of Bondi's Barnyard and I've said this a few times already, uh, but I tried a 30 minute version of that game and I was literally about to knock out by the end of that. So, you know, trying to do this as if it's actually here is pretty insane. But yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to really cover with regards to Fire Inside Freddy's in real time for now. And one thing that I didn't mention that I do think is interesting is that this is a night one demo and all the animatronics are active. So I'm curious to see what are they going to introduce in the further nights? Because it seems like, you know, if this is happening all night one, that means that we, there might be gameplay mechanics that we haven't even seen yet that will be introduced in night two, night three, so on and so forth. But overall, those are my thoughts so far on Final Fantasy Freddy's in real time. Currently, you know, what I'm looking forward to, what I'm still waiting to see. And I wanted to at least share that perspective. Obviously, the game will be inscriptable as always. You know, best of luck to the developers. You know, so far they've been doing hard work. And I hope that they can bounce back from the recent events that have happened. Right, with regards to some of the just ridiculous things that I've heard. Uh, people saying towards them or apparently been sending to them hope the developers stay strong and you know can you know just do things the way that they want to you know because at the end of the day like a project like this like is a huge passion project so i wish the best for them but yeah that has been the night one demo for finance at freddy's in real time it's going to be interesting to see how night two and night three changes because if night one has every animatronic active then that suggests that there are some things in this game that we haven't even seen yet, so that's going to be interesting for sure. But of course, I just want to share my thoughts on the game currently, what I was thinking about it since there was a lot of discourse regarding the demo since it released. Of course, the game is in the description below as always if you want to check it out for yourself. 
If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let's me know if you're enjoying the content. I want to see more of it. And with that said, I'll see you in another video and take care.